Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening and I am coming to share prayer and I'm going to start with scripture. Psalm 107 verse 20 and 21. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Oh, that man would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. Heavenly Father, we come together praying giving you all the honor and glory and thanking you for the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Blessings we don't deserve, Heavenly Father. May we never forget to honor you and to glorify you for who you are, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your precious Son, Jesus Christ, who came and who was sacrificed his life for our sins and we thank you for the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to be in this prayer, Heavenly Father. And we ask that you partner us in all sin we commit intentionally or unintentionally in thought and or in deed to offend thee, Heavenly Father. I thank you for all of my prayer partners who touch and agree with me. Your word says when two or more gathered in your name that you be in the midst. So I thank you for Minister Allen, our um, daily prayer. Um, morning Glory Group, Shape Group, The Wonderful Women of God, The Grateful Prayer Line, Prayer Chronicles, and Allen Family, as well as my home church, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, the 6 p.m. Daily Prayer Card. And Heavenly Father, I thank you for every intercessor and every church and um, people who come together in prayer to um, intercede on behalf of others. Heavenly Father, we believe in your word and we can stand on your promise that you will draw near to the prayer, that we can cast all of our cares to you, Heavenly Father, that you, we know that you can answer this prayer. We just pray that you will, Heavenly Father. And um, so we pray for the bereaved heart, the broken heart, Heavenly Father. We pray for all who need a touch mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. We pray for those who are going the last mile with family right now, Heavenly Father, having to make um, funeral arrangements. We pray for those who feel lonely and rejected, Heavenly Father. We pray for those who are going back to school. Um, we pray for a covering over our youth. We pray for this world. We pray for the political system. We pray for all of the leaders. We pray for law enforcement, first responders, those in the medical field, transportation, Father God. We pray that as people serve others, Heavenly Father, that they will have the mind of Christ, to have the love of Christ in serving, Heavenly Father, knowing that it is a blessing, Heavenly Father. And for um, we thank you for the, again, for the many blessings that you bestowed upon us, that we may be wise stewards of these blessings. We pray for those who are incarcerated behind prison walls. We pray for those who are addicted, Heavenly Father. We know that um, prayer can change anything, Heavenly Father, and that um, the, the chains can break, Heavenly Father. The chains of addiction can break, Heavenly Father. We pray for those who are depressed, those who are stressed. We pray for everyone who's going through something, Heavenly Father, knowing that we can call on your name, knowing that you can change the situation, knowing that you can turn things around, knowing that you're all sovereign, knowing that you have all power, knowing that you're everywhere at the same time, that nothing is too hard for you, Heavenly Father. We may not understand our purpose, or our plan, but one thing for sure, we can trust the promise that you'll never leave us, that you'll never forsake us, that you love us, and that you will always be a prayer way. And your word said that when we call on your name, that you will draw near. Your word said those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Your word says that you are faithful. So, Heavenly Father, again, we thank you that we can call on your name. We thank you that even um, 
your words spoke and um and and Peter was asked by what authority are you healing and Peter gave the answer by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth so heavenly father we know that um the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth has all power so we thank you for the privilege that we can call out that name that still has power so heavenly father um I thank you for my family I thank you for my friends I thank you for my home church, um, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, Senior Pastor Greg Foster II, and I thank you for the kingdom building work that's being done, Heavenly Father. Um, on this past week, I'd like to um, especially lift up those who are going through something that may not look like what they're going through. It's not our job to judge how someone looked determining what they're going through heavenly father so we know that um it's a lot of people who are still fighting covid fighting um different illnesses due to weather related um changes so we pray a covering over these people heavenly father and we pray that we can love people no, no matter what they look like, no matter what they sound like, that you love us and you gave us a commandment to love so that we can follow that commandment to love, Heavenly Father. And we pray for all those who have been affected by the storms. Um, Heavenly Father, not only the inclement outside weather storms, but the storms of life, Heavenly Father, we pray that they will draw near to you and that you will hold, help, and heal only as you can, Heavenly Father. And, and um, in this world, um, a lot is going on, a lot of injustice is going on. So we pray, knowing that you are a God of justice. So help us to be able to stand for justice and do what is right. Have a um, moral and obligation to do what is right, that we can follow you. And um, we thank you. We love you. We bless you. If I forgot anything, charge it to my head and not my heart. But definitely, 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 there is no time to be playing around. I'm grateful for this platform. If you have a prayer request, um, send in a prayer request. We, um, we're all that we have and we have to come together and look out for each other and serve in a way that pleases God, that God is glorified. So again, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I love you guys, but more importantly, God loves you more. He left us in peace. So I too will say peace in the magic name of Jesus. Amen.